Chronic myeloidous leukemia is a paradigm in disease research as it is caused by a single event which is the translocation of the BCR gene to um, the ABLE gene causing the famous BCR ABLE fusion protein um, shown here that actually contains an SH2 domain, an SH3 domain, a catalytic domain as well as other portions. The SH2 domain is particularly important because we know that it makes sort a negative function in regulation but we also think and hypothesize that it actually has a positive role in um, activation. In the crystal structure of C-ABLE, we could see that the SH2 domain binds on top of the catalytic domain, and particularly an isoleucine, isoleucine 164, protrudes and engages the catalytic domain. If you mutate that isoleucine, you actually lose catalytic activity, as if it has an allosteric positive effect on the output of the kinase. So we know that it is necessary for activity, but is it also sufficient? Postdoctoral fellow Florian Gradien has addressed this question by studying a heter heterodermalization um, system where the SH2 domain and the catalytic domain were on different um, proteins. This is rapamycin inducible, and as you can see, upon rapamycin um, addition, you actually have an increase in the ability of the protein of, of the fusion proteins to um, cause phosphorylation of endogenous proteins and that is something that you don't see if the SH2 domain bears the azoleucine mutation. So it is not only necessary but also sufficient. In a mouse model for chronic myeloidous leukemia, if you don't have this azoleucine, you actually fail to kill the animals. So in many ways it is essential for the in vivo activity of BCR able in this model. Um, together with Shohei Koide at the University of Chicago, um, we devised a monobody that actually engages the SH2 domain. And this particular monobody is binding to the side of the SH2 domain, and we hypothesized, based on this crystal structure, that it could clash with the catalytic domain. We have used a tandem monobody that actually has another um, monobody fused at the amino terminus to increase the affinity. And the standard monobody is in vitro able, able to inhibit the catalytic activity um, of BCRA. And then we moved on to patient cells that were infected with an antiviral vector that expresses the tandem monobody. And these cells that are targeted actually have an increase in apoptosis, so they stop um, growing, that is comparable to an increase in apoptosis that you obtain with imatinib treatment. In summary, we have shown that the SH2 kinase domain interface in BCR-ABLE actually is an allosteric regulatory interface that can be used also in a therapeutic sense, or hopefully in a therapeutic sense, and so even if we don't believe that monobodies themselves um, will be of therapeutic value because it's difficult to get them into cells, we think that they pave the way for obtaining um, small molecules that would limit their activity. So even this able, a very well-known kinase, offers new regulatory avenues for therapeutic intervention. And we believe this may be true for many other kinases as well, where allosteric regulation is still not fully understood.